This is a national emergency. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. The world will remember this day. This is arguably the most important story of our time. The stakes really couldn't be any higher. It's profound, but it's told in a very human way. Everything Chris Nolan has done has been a prelude to this. This is not a film, this is an experience. It is a heart-in-your-mouth thriller. I've been interested in Oppenheimer's story for a long time. At some point, I learned this key piece of information that in the lead up to the Trinity test, they were dealing with the very small possibility that when they pushed that button, they would set fire to the atmosphere of the Earth and destroy the entire planet. And yet, they pushed that button. I wanted to take the audience into that extraordinary moment in human history. America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here, a secret laboratory. Killian playing Oppenheimer was the centerpiece of the film, but I knew that he was going to need the most extraordinary ensemble around him. Let's go recruit some scientists. The people involved in the Manhattan Project were charismatic individuals. They're very talented. The world that Oppenheimer inhabits is filled with rock star scientists. And, and I think because we have all these fantastic actors, you really buy that. It felt like I was playing sports with some of the best athletes. Every single person has come to set knowing that they have been hired because somewhere along the line, Chris thought that you did a good job. And this goes for crew as well. My preference is to always do things in camera as much as possible. It sets a big challenge for every department to actually bring the reality of a thing there for the actors. Every crew member on this film has to adjust their work for the IMAX screen. IMAX can contain 18K resolution per frame, which is by far more than any digital camera. It gets thrown up on a gigantic screen, and the moment you watch it, it's very evident. The quality is unprecedented. This is a story of America in the 20th century, so I think it can be painted on that big of a canvas, and what better way to do that but with IMAX cameras. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? I always try to use real locations as much as possible. With location shooting or sets, the more things can just be real, the better they're going to feel to the audience. There's almost no studio work on this film. Everything is location. The sets were built in such a way that they felt incredibly authentic. We built our Los Alamos at Ghost Ranch, New Mexico, which is along the same mountain range that Los Alamos proper sits on. This was very important, and I based all of this on research. We built all of these buildings 360. We want it to feel like you are right there, you are in this, this is happening, this is real. This isn't a back lot. It's just the most transporting thing, you know, when you're there and it just looks exactly like Los Alamos 1940s must have looked, and you know that no detail has been overlooked. You know, we also shot in a huge amount of the real locations. We shot in Oppenheimer's house, in Los Alamos. We shot in Princeton. Walking through Princeton, it's really very funny because people, you know, they're walking around, they go, Shooting those scenes, playing the characters who really had versions of these events happen there, you just get a real charge out of it, you know? This is a matter of life and death, but I can perform this miracle. When you do Chris's movies, things that when you read a script you normally would think would be visual effects, you know that you're going to be doing this stuff practically. They had to film the world of quantum physics their whole unit was one big science project. I was daily very jealous. It's kind of back to the old days. We did a lot of experimentation. We came up with some very interesting analog methods of how to approach this, all of which was leading to the Trinity test, which had to feel nightmarish and terrifying in a way that computer graphics never really is. What we were able to get into the finished film, to me, is extraordinarily beautiful, but also very frightening. 
working with this whole team was such a great camaraderie and with the commonality of we are going to get this in camera. I love Chris's dedication to that. It really speaks to Chris and the way he directs. All of the energy goes around the camera. Like, we're all here to do the same thing. Chris makes films for theaters, for movie-going audiences. You know, so you want to see that as it's designed to be seen. Watching this very different sort of film on that big screen, it sort of makes you gasp. You're right in their experience. This is, I think, a definitive moment in the history of modern filmmaking. Do yourself a favor and go see this on as big a screen as you can. With the sound design and the score and the emotionality of it, this is an unforgettable, unmissable experience in a theater. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. We made Oppenheimer on the largest scale possible because the idea is to come and experience this. His story is monumental and epic and extraordinary. It really has to be seen on the big screen to be believed.